To spell check your document, there's a couple of techniques that we can use. First of which is under the edit menu, you can go down the list to spelling and you can ad hoc spell check as you're working through your file by turning on dynamic spelling. When I click on that, InDesign's going to find any words it can't find in its dictionary and it'll underline them in red. However, they'll only be visible if you've got the normal editing mode turned on. So if I press W to reveal my grids and guides, now you'll notice that some of those words have been underlined in a zigzag of red. So in the case here of the word promise, I can hover over that word, double left click to go into type editing mode. And as long as your type tool is flashing away in the incorrectly spelt word, you can then right click on it. And in the context menu, you'll find a list of likely correct spellings. And in here, I'll choose the correct spelling. So if you wish to, you can ad hoc spell check as you're working through and building your page content. I'll hit the escape key. And if you wish to do a full round of spelling in your document, well then go up to edit down the list to spelling, and then you can choose check spelling. Don't be surprised if InDesign then takes you to a different page. It typically spell checks the very first text frame that you added to your document and then starts at that point and works all the way through and it's highlighted the word Brex. It doesn't appear in the English language because it's a combination of two words, really. In my case here, I'm going to choose to skip this and also the word Mex. Now it's found a place name in the form of Dungeness. Now that is a correct spelling of that place, but you will tend to find that many place names are not in the dictionary. So I will go down to the bottom and click on add now it will add that particular word, Dungeness, only for this document, unfortunately. It won't add it to the entire Adobe InDesign library of correct spellings. And in here, it picked up that word Brex again. So I might choose Ignore All and then choose Ignore All for the other word Mex so it doesn't pop up again in the spell checker in the future. Here, it's found an incorrect spelling for the word Restaurant. It will give me a list of suggested correct spellings and from here, I'll click on the top one and then choose change. Now, if I suspect that I've incorrectly spelt that several times, then you could choose change all and it'll find every incorrect version of the word restaurant spelt the same way and replace it for the correct one that I've selected from the list. When you do, well, in my case here, there is just the one instance. You have to always click OK to that. Once it's gone through your document and you've finished, well then here it'll tell you that it's ready to check spelling, which means that it's finished. Do make sure that when you start spell checking that under search, it's set to document if that's what you wish to do and it will go through every page of your file. If it's set to story, then it will only spell check the active text frame where your cursor is inside. You can also choose to spell check from the position of where your cursor is to the end of the current text frame, or you can just spell check selected text in there. And if you've split your InDesign documents into multiple portions for your entire publication, you can open them all inside of InDesign and choose to spell check everything that's open inside of InDesign at that moment in time. And from here, I'll click on done. So that's how you can spell check inside of InDesign.